Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the biggest problems that has kind of happened in Warzone on and off again, and that is the stim glitch. But there's actually a legit way to do this every single match. It's incredibly difficult. I'm not going to go through all the steps. This is more to inform the community that it is possible, and then hopefully the devs do something about it. I'm going to have some suggestions as well. So if you guys enjoy the video, learn something new. If you do, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, looking to find your way back, double check. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on obviously i want to keep this as brief as possible but essentially what happens is there is a mechanic within the game that you're able to get a large number of munitions boxes and you can resupply your stims this is something some people did earlier on and they modified the mechanics of the game one of the things they did was people were able to go to the buy stations and they lasted forever in the zone and people just can continue buying gas masks if they had enough money this is very similar to that mechanic they went around and ended up fixing that and that's what i'm hoping they do this time around is going in and wrapping it up and fixing pretty much the opportunity for any of those exploits going forward and what you're looking at in the background is the first time op mark jakey chu and i fish were able to pull this off they heard it in the chat somebody messaged them in the dms and they said hey if you do this i think this is a problem going on right now that not enough people know about. Could you go ahead and try it out to double check to see if it works? And this is the first time them attempting it to see if it worked. They didn't even know. It was just kind of a concept. Um, but apparently it's been going on in the background. And some people have been doing it on the low. And we thought it was a stim glitch in some of these different scenarios. This is 100% legit in-game mechanics that the developers need to go in and figure out a back way to fix it. One thing that I suggest is either make it so that anything within the map, as soon as it touches the gas, after let's say 30 seconds, it despawns. The current timer for despawn is about two and a half minutes for anything on the loadout. Like, so if you die, go to the gulag, you come back to your loot, it will despawn after about almost three minutes. And that is one of the issues. If you're in the gas, you don't need to be in the gas. No one needs to be in the gas. So they should despawn all items. That's number one. Fix number two is to do increasing health ticks. What I mean by that is theoretically, if you're playing smart, you're near the edge of the gas, you have a gas mask, you stim, you use an ammo supply to re-stim again, you should be good and then get it back in the zone. But if you don't, the tick rate should just increase exponentially. So instead of taking like 10% of your health, take 30% of your health, 40, 50% of your health, all the way up to 100 so that by the time that all that uh, has allotted, so you can stay in the gas for approximately 60 seconds, 90 seconds at the most. And that would solve a lot of the other stim issues because someone wouldn't be able to sit in the gas for as long as it is with all the stim glitches because we know it's going to be back. Someone's going to find another one because even right after they closed it up, somebody said, hey, there's another glitch. There's another glitch. Might have been thinking this particular method and I want to let you guys know about it. I'm not going to explain all the details because I don't want a bunch of people doing it. But this video enough should show off the issue of what's going on uh, and how they could fix it by just despawning everything in the gas and making sure that that tick rate just exponentially increases. So no matter what, even if you had unlimited stims, you would just instant die with one tick and that would solve a lot of the problems. So hopefully this spreads the word out a little bit. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be taking advantage of this because even with the challenge, it is a little bit difficult to do, but even if one person could do it and break the game, it's enough for it to be fixed and them to reevaluate how they could fix these things in the future and solve problems going forward. Because we, like I said, we've had the stim glitch like three or four times. One time is way too many, three or four, that's unacceptable. So hopefully they go ahead and wrap this up pretty quick once they're aware of it, and then they'll be able to address those issues and it'll change the game's mechanics going forward. The same way they did with the buy stations uh, a few seasons ago where it just closes up after a certain amount of time in the gas. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, learn something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button, brand new, wanna find your way back. Double check, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Those guys that you're watching right now, they're pretty good players anyways. They all have like a thousand, 2000 wins, so they can win normally. They're just showing off the mechanic and how it works. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.